It's not difficult to see the impact teacher Katie Tennyson has had on Los Molinos High School. All you have to do is walk behind the main school buildings and you'll discover a new greenhouse, stalls for FFA animals, and of course, the rabbit barn. Students are always working on something around here. We are a 24-hour um, moving wheel, apparently. <laughs> and, uh, Part of my position too, I'm, I'm a unique position. Most teachers are nine months or 10 months. I'm a 12 month employee, so I'm here year round. And we have um, the farm that we've started out, out back and we have our newly established rabbit barn. And that literally started from one student who had an interest in rabbits and my brain took it to the entire next level. So now we have a full breeding operation out there. Um, we've got about 23 three babies in the hutch right now, which is really exciting for us. And we use those rabbits not only for fair, um, we sell the fryers for meat, and then the students get to do really cool genetics projects with them. In addition to that, we have our other livestock projects that happen more in the springtime. I'm the swine and rabbit advisor, so come end of March, beginning of April, I'll have about 40 hogs at the barn. Yeah, in a community like Los Molinos, agriculture is the main, it's the main focus of this community. Um, and so to have a program as strong as, as this program is, is very important um, to, um, because we're, we're really, uh, we're providing uh, the future of agriculture in our area and actually the whole state. Creating leaders and preparing her students for the future is at the heart of each lesson Miss Tennyson teaches. Uh, I have a saying on my website, the curriculum is minor, it's the life I watch you lead that's the most important. And that truly is, you know, my motto for, for teaching. And, and you know, I, I want to see them successful and I want to see them grow and benefit and, and be good people more than anything. Yes, uh, the students learn a lot more than ag. Ag is, is something that brings them together but really they are learning organizational skills. They are learning to be leaders. They are learning to have confidence and speak in public. And they are learning to build relationships. And so uh, there's a lot more to uh, FFA than just the actual uh, material agriculture. Ms. Tennyson is an amazing FFA advisor because she makes us feel like it's our second home away from home. She makes us feel like we can do things that we're normally not comfortable doing and get like helps us get out of our comfort zone. And it's a big step for me because normally I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. To have a teacher like Ms. Tennyson believe in me, it really boosts my confidence by not only being at school but outside of school as well. I've never had the confidence to be able to speak in front of people and with her guiding me I've been able to run for chapter office in my chapter at Los Molinos High School and I really feel more comfortable when I'm speaking to other people <laughs> and I think that it, like she's helped prepare me for getting a job and going to college next year and she's really helped me apply to college and you know, look for a job and go outside and act like a decent person. By putting in the extra hours, driving students to competitions, and caring for the various animals on campus all year round, Miss Tennyson says she is carrying on the legacy of her high school FFA advisor. Now that I, I look back on my experience in, you know, when I was in FFA, the amount of things that my ag teacher did for me it's, you know, it's hard to fathom how he got from point A to point B without MapQuest or Google Maps or <laughs> without getting lost in the amount of weekends that he spent with me rather than his own children or away from his family. And so to be able to kind of relive that experience and give that um, opportunity to my students is incredibly rewarding. And, you know, to see them grow and to see them succeed is basically what the job is, is for. Having Miss Tennyson for an FFA advisor has been so inspiring for one student in particular that after graduation, she hopes to follow in her beloved teacher's footsteps. After high school, I plan to attend Humboldt State University. I recently got accepted and I plan to major in environmental studies. And with the help of Ms. Tennyson, I was able to apply there and get accepted as well. And I hope to follow in her footsteps because she is a former lumberjack. And I hope to graduate with my major in environmental studies and further my career into the credential program to become a teacher. I hope to take every lesson that I've learned from Ms. Tennyson and bring it forth to my own students someday. She's taught me how to be friendly and how to be nice to people and respectable. And I just, the tone that she sets for her classroom is something that I aspire to have. And I really want to be just half of the person that she is today. And I really want to make her proud, especially. <laughs>